We're on. Seven o'clock, I would like to call the meeting of the Tilton Budget Committee to order. Please bear with me. My voice is horrible. It's an allergy. It's a very nasty allergy. And so it's nothing infectious. Not Ebola. <laughs> Seems to be the latest craze. Okay. From looking around the table, all are present and or accounted for, so the quorum is present. At this point in time, what I would like to do is to recommend to the Budget Committee that we go into a non-public setting. At this point in time, under Rule NHRSA 91A3, non-public session. Matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any body other than a member of the public body itself, unless such a person requests an open meeting. I will, the chair will entertain a motion to that effect. I'd like to make a motion to go into a non-public session. I'll second the motion. As a caveat to that, I would invite the select board and Heather to join us for that meeting. Oh, board on it first, excuse me. Okay, roll call vote. John. Aye. Aye. Jane. Aye. 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 All, all present have voted in the affirmative. We are therefore going into non-public session. Come up and join us, Heather. We will return to public session. I'd like to make a motion that we seal the minutes. I'll second. We're going to do that next. As soon as we get on the... All right. You're on. You're on. Make a motion. Okay. Make a motion to seal the minutes. We have returned to public session at 7.43. Motion has been made by Jane Alden to seal the minutes of the non-public session. John? Second. Second. All those in favor by roll call vote. Aye. 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 All voting in the affirmative. Those minutes are now sealed. And I'm still talking, which is good at this point in time. All right, let's go back to the original schedule. We have meeting minutes to take a look at. Please take a look at them. Are there any questions, any amendments? I make a motion to accept the minutes as written. I second the motion. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it. Let's move on to the next session. Request received and scheduling our fun time. Now, Joanna, we're scheduled for who next week? We, you have not scheduled anyone as of yet. We have not scheduled anyone, okay. All right. Does the committee have a preference as to we schedule? Who we schedule and when? A suggestion from the chair is that we allow 15 minutes for a presentation, go through at least three during the session, and then discuss in the following week any decisions or any discussions that we need to have prior to voting. That way it'll give us a chance to take a look at the material that's presented to us. Does the committee have a preference? We're fine with following the same schedule we followed last year. Seemed to work pretty well. Maybe just switch the dates. Yeah. Yeah. Joanna, is that a possibility? Yeah. How um, does the committee feel? It's fine with me. I, I'd say front load a few in case there's weather issues at the end, but yeah. You know. Does the committee feel we should do about three? at each session, if we can. Sounds good. Okay. I think some of the town ones, just two. Um, I think like the highway department. Yes. And selectmen and the... Uh, um, we come all at once. Yeah. I think that's, is that the way we usually did it last year? Um, in past years, you guys had the departments come before you, and then several years ago, the selectmen opted to go with presenting their budget as a whole. But if you choose to meet with department heads, you're welcome to do that. Yeah, I'd like to meet with the department heads. So, no one would have. 
IT as a new department this year? Yes. Yeah, I think that, um, would that come in with uh, the selectmen? I think, could they do that at the same time? It was, that was finance? separate last year. It didn't exist last year. Well, it was a new department last year. Yeah, it was the new department last year. Yeah, wasn't it wasn't made like halfway through the season. He yeah. <laughs> still came in because I remember yeah. the answers yeah. were. It was quite a very winded because we had a lot of questions. Yeah, because it was new. So what I'm hearing is you'd like to meet with the department heads prior to the select board budget or afterwards. I don't think it matters. <laughs> I would say beforehand, right? When we present uh -huh. the budget, we usually have the department heads here. Yeah. So if you wanted to meet with them separately, it would probably make better sense to meet with them prior and ask the questions so that they, you've got the answers. When we commit to present the entire budget with them, with them here included, and then they have the answers to your questions. Comfortable with that? Yeah, I can do it. Stand. Mm -hmm. Oh, board's comfortable with that? Yep. Joanna? Yeah, whatever you guys want. So be it. I have two questions. Okay, go for it. Um, on this list is Big Brother, Big Sister of Greater Manchester. Are we going to take accept a request from them? We have, are we decided that yet? We have not decided that yet. And the other, it, I noticed that the Parks Commission is not on here. And I think that we always... Oh, uh, yes. Hmm? Park commissioners is not enough. It's part of the selections, but well, neither is the Tilton Sewer Commission. But I, I think just to schedule them to Tilton talk to us. Right. Okay. All right. right. I think we should. We've met with them before. So yeah, we have. I think so we should. We should have. Their department heads. Yeah. Right. So okay. schedule them somehow. Right. I'd, I'd like to. Go ahead. Right. Motion. Yeah. And what that? Why that is? Make a motion or. It's to ask, to request. To request the uh, Parks Commission to come in. Change, second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Ayes have it. Um, Jane, would you like to discuss the big boys? Is it big boys, big girls? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Big brothers, big I'll get in sisters. trouble. Uh, I don't know any, I mean, I really don't know. It's a Greater Manchester. I don't know. I guess it's really one that maybe we should ask Heather about. What did they say when they put in the request, and why are they requesting it from us? Last year they put in a request um, towards the end of the season. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if they serve Tilton families. I know that we received a request last year. It was late in the season, and the budget committee decided that they were too late in the season to entertain the funding of. So they <coughs> sent them out a letter this year when we sent out the other request letters, and I have yet to hear back from them. So they have not re submitted anything at this. Does point. anybody know of any involvement of people who have big brothers or big sisters in the Tilton area? You do. Yes. Out of out of Laconia though, not out of Manchester. Well they serve till Laconia. But this is Manchester. My thoughts are we should just table it till they ask for something. If they don't ask, I why see why why are they on the list? Are they asking for an audience with the... No, they're on the list because they were added to the list yet last year after they requested funds. Oh, then they just asked late. So this year they haven't actually requested. Correct. And we let them know what the time frame is for asking? Yep. Okay. okay. Then so I think asked, John's suggestion is... Just table until can, we hear yeah. from them. Yeah. Okay. Comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay, and good. One other Go ahead, thing. Sir. Are there any of these that we would all like to decide that we do not need to see? Um, I'm fine with not seeing the Island Concert Series. I think I'm, I'm pretty familiar with that. And, uh, and I would suggest that 
with that next meeting, after people have a chance to go through some of the paperwork, that we sit down and we can make that discussion. Okay. The idea is so yeah, people can at least good. take a look at what's going on and go from there. Sounds good. Okay, so that we'll put that good. on the agenda for next week. I mean, obviously yeah. we don't need to see Birchfield Kennels because that's... Right, but again, to give you a chance to... So Although we'll entertain. I noticed in the paper today where three towns have gone together to hire an animal control officer. Did you see that? It was in the paper today. They still have to have a place to bring them. Yeah. So we have an animal control officer, right? Isn't one of the police no. officers? All of them are. It's just the all police department. Are. We used to have a designated one, but now they all are. I know all somebody who has a lot of experience in it. Since we hired virtual kennel, because he's local, he, he can actually take them up. Yeah. Good. Okay. I would suggest that we postpone looking at the financials until next week also. We got those today on the computer from Jim. Thanks. To, good for Jim. He did good. But I would like a chance to go through them because they're on the computer, and we'll put that on the agenda for next week. Other business, John? You had written an email that you would like to discuss an issue, and we talked this, we talked a little bit before the meeting that we would like to put that off to the next meeting so people can get all the information that they need and everyone's comfortable. Are you agreeable to that? Yeah. Is there any information that is needed so that we have time to put together your email to... Wayne, and Wayne can disseminate. Right. I'm not understanding this. I'm not either. I thought we were discussing it. That's why you called and asked the slept and be. We had asked. It was really going to be on the 15th, which is what they, they, we had talked about. Okay, so we had asked. When I asked John, John asked two questions. To schedule it, because we scheduled a meeting, and that's what we're doing for next week. The other part was... We have not received the latest survey of wages that was sent to the the town. Uh, we had talked about that at the last meeting. That I believe it was Joyce was going to send a copy of that to us. So we have not gotten that. So at this week, what we're looking at is scheduling this for next week. I'm fine with either. I, if people are prepared to talk, I'm fine with that. I mean, I highly up to everybody. Okay, this is the committee's group. How does the committee feel? I'm fine talking about it tonight. If there's any information that you can give tonight, that would be great. So that the other people and any information that has to be gathered from the selectmen to report back to you, we can do that as well. And okay. Do that. Sure. The the only other thing is the selectmen do not meet until after the next meeting. The 16th. Stan, comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Select board, comfortable? John, go ahead. Uh, I just had a question. I guess you would direct it to me because I'm. No, okay. John. And then I John Bossy. No, I, I'm talking to John. Just point of order that I'm the rep for the. Selectman, okay. so can direct it to me, and uh, there's a lot of information I don't have, and I can, if with your permission, your permission, go ahead. The selectman. Just a question regarding the salary increase to the deputy town clerk tax collector of three percent. Okay. The the selectman did the um, wages and the reviews. Uh, I believe it was in July, towards the end of July. And many of those were, um, or they were held in non-public as, as for that. So um, I did not attend that meeting. It was a non-public meeting, so I can't really, I don't have any information on what can be shared. But I'd like to defer to, um, I think, Catherine or Joel for that information, because okay. they were part of the meeting. If the only point that I would raise if it was in non-public and those meetings, minutes were sealed, that whatever we talk about has to be in a very general nature about the position itself, not the individual 
holding the position or any decisions that were made concerning a personnel matter. So I have no problems at this point in time with John, with your okay, having either Catherine, Joe, or Pat explain the process of how the adjustment was made in a general manner without going inside that bubble. So I, I think they're good at that. They know what's public and not. Pat? Pat, Catherine, or Joe? I, I can do a generalization of what usually takes place is when there is a when there is an employee that um, the board feels that um, needs to uh, be looked at as far as wage or wage adjustment are they consistent with the area um, and other towns in population and um, money-wise, uh, what the board does is uh, do their research and look at what areas, uh, what towns are, are paying, consistent also with the New Towns Association for Wage and Salary. Um, that was done over uh, a couple of weeks and then uh, they waited for the evaluation. Once the evaluation comes in from the eight department head, I'm just giving you a hypothetical situation. The uh, evaluation comes in from the department head, and if it's worthy of um, that wage adjustment, then they will vote accordingly uh, for that wage. There have been in the past a uh, few wage adjustments in, in the last few years. Um, we did one earlier this year for land use. Um, we did one for the deputy town clerk tax collector. And other than that, it was three years ago, which would be finance. IT that? We've done one for the town clerk before we've done one. Oh, the town clerk, that's correct. Just, we've done, we've right. done them. Well, we it's found not a common for the board is likely to do a wage adjustment. Wage adjustments. Right. We've done them for officers. <coughs> if you know that there's a, a, a great uh, discrepancy or inconsistency. That does not affect the overall bottom line of the budget. It comes with the comes within the funds within well, the budget. It, does. it doesn't affect the bottom line of the budget. It may affect the line item because we didn't budget that wage line item to be that. However, uh, there may be room in another budget. Um, we took this. Uh, if there's room in another wage line, the wage line, we borrowed it from the, we transferred over to the wage line. Right. So it does not affect right. the budget itself other than the transfers right. of the monies. Last month when I spoke about the two corporals, we took the increase of the remainder of the year from wage, uh, wage salary of the offices because we had offices that were uh, sick and they were not that wages will not use when you have room there. Other than the tax collector, the legislative body has allowed the Board of Selectmen to make those changes throughout history, correct? Since no, I've been a chapter, chapter RSA 32 allows the Selectmen to make those, okay. those changes. So we make the changes and um, and it's budgeted for, the budget's approved by you, you know, recommended or not recommended by you folks. And and then the only one that it's not included in that, which we found out the hard way, was the town clerk tax collector. And that, her uh, increase or merit increase, whatever it is, wage adjustment, can only be voted on by the legislative body. Right. So you don't see uh, merit increase in July when everybody else, July, August. It's usually July 1st. We didn't get to it till August uh, this year, but it's retro to July 1st. 
but the only one that doesn't get that is um, the town clerk tax collector and that's a town meeting and then it's retro I think to the first of the year. So the historically adjustments have been made throughout the year to personnel when there is a discrepancy. When there's a need. When there's a need. When there's a need. And that by RSA 32 has been left up to the Board of Selectmen to make that call. Right. Correct? Only the Board of Selectmen can maneuver monies from line items. It's the Selectmen's budget. Once it's approved in town meeting, it's the Selectmen's budget. Right. Only the Selectmen can make those decisions in the budget. So we will see that increase in the next budget, the change. You see it now. See it you now. See it in September's. Okay, so you it's already. see it in September's. Now, um, the, the other one you won't see is, is Johanna because that's the sewer. The sewer has uh, oh, uh, jurisdiction over hers. So that, right. Um, so that you you don't see um, you would see the earlier one in August or July's. That's land use, you mean? The, the land use, and then you would see September. You would see the. Just to play information. Um, I, as far as I know. <coughs> We have not, the selectmen have not decided which line that will be taken out of, so that will show up later, correct? No, no that's already been, that's already been that's decided. That's already been moved from the waste that, line. Which line? Pardon? That, that it's been decided which line it would come from? It's been transferred. The police department's wage line. Right. For the town hall ones as well? Pardon? The town, the, the, the wage wage line into the town hall wage line, I believe. I can't swear on it, by the way. Oh, see, I, I don't. I'm pretty sure that's the case. <laughs> Police wages. The, the decision, when they made the decision to do that, we asked the finance director to where we could move the money from and so on, and they made the decision, and the motion was made from that department. And that was in the non-public? Okay. No, I just thought that would, was a public, a separate thing. To transfer funds was to be done in public. We had asked them previous to that where we could make adjustments. I seem to recall that on our meeting. Seeing it the finance was made in public. To which, what department it's going to be taken from. Okay. But Tim would have that information. Is that what you're saying? You we, are, yeah, we can have it for you. Okay. Right. There was some we can let Joanna know tomorrow. And there was some excess in public works. Stan? Um, were there any increases in duties and responsibilities of this position? Increases in responsibilities? That's an interesting. I would question. That come with their parents. Not an instant uh, change in responsibilities. Okay, now you've got this, you're going to do this and this and that in addition to what you do. And these ongoing certifications. As they've become more experienced, as right. they've taken on more responsibility, mm -hmm. um, that's what I based my decision on, not the fact that they were going to all. There are other duties to take over as you go forward. My other question is, since this is a line item on your budget. I know, that's a problem. I can't already tell you nothing because I've taken an oath not to divulge certain information. Well, that, well that's the question I have is why is this non-public? Because it's a it's personnel matter. Personnel issue. It's personnel matter. states that if it's a personnel issue, you right. enter into non-public session under 91A, and I right. forget the call, colon or semicolon. Yes. But employee, the deliberation part, the results are public knowledge. So for how much the town clerk tax collector makes is going to be right on a budget. Right. Gross. You're going to have that right here. No, I know, but, but the, but the, the research and the, the, you know, the development and the conversation. Before we get too far ahead, 
New Hampshire RSA 91A32B, I believe it is, that any personnel matter will only be discussed in a non-public session. Right, and, and I'm not talking about a personnel matter. I'm talking about the job description and salary of a public job. Can you talk about personnel? How about, a, how about an example of can we get a copy of the evaluation? No. no. We can't get a copy of what research we found in other towns that justified the raising that back. Actually, that, that information has got to be public because <coughs> we got it from a public but source. He asked for the evaluation and we said no. Um, That's not unless the employee the were to give you a copy. No, or the research, okay. whatever you want to call it. I think what yeah. we want is the research. The justification, the justification for making justification this that. number what it is. For yeah. the process that the board is like when we'll do it at their next meeting, we'll have a conversation about it. And then we'll seek advice from probably the municipal association because it's great on what exactly we can divulge out of that non-public session. Yeah. And yeah. we're usually very cautious when it comes to employee issues. Oh, of course. But it's not Some of It's not specific to the employee. It's speci I want the well, information was specific, specific to, the job. to the job itself. What are the duties and responsibility of this job? What increase justified that? What averages from XYZ towns got that number to make it what it is? What is now the starting pay of that position if that position opened up? It would depend on when it opened up. Well, but like in the future, does that now increase the starting, it now no. the merit no. every yeah, year? We always have the same people with the same amount of experience. Right. Right. People come into jobs yeah. with already experience for the jobs and then of course they have years at the job. Yeah. Right. So it would depend on <coughs> <coughs> what job? Traditionally, they like a 90, with. people start off low, they get a 90 day. Right, a 90 and days. And then from 90 days, they'll re adjust, re mm -hmm. and then But from there's there, also so a range, you know, every job has its range that's probably Matthew set. Is, yeah. like, I'll ask on Joyce it's tomorrow. 2010, wage report. But I would like to make a list of that. The wage report we can yeah. get, and I think that would be something. John, that's online, I believe. That's the what. The latest. Yeah. Survey. Oh, without subscription. Call the time. I thought Joyce was getting that. Survey was, of the municipal wages. The new survey. And that's that what you look for the survey. Any data around the surrounding salaries and benefits for a similar job to that position. Right. And that's the. Any third. That's, that's all I'm looking for is the facts that justify right, the that's, numbers. That's it. When you, look at, <coughs> when you look at the wage and, and um, salary analysis, uh, you know, look at it. The selectmen um, had to, you know, make phone call, actually physical phone calls, because some some of them are part time and some of them are full time. Some have two deputies, and they split the salaries. So. You know, it's on paper, it's one thing, and then it's not on right. something different. I would just like to, and I, I would like to get a copy or have access to the copy of the four inch updated wage research. It's not a disc now. But I, would also, but I would also like to know which exact X, Y, and Z. Towns that we used. Which ones you used, yeah. why you used them, what the justification for those, <laughs> whether or not, you know, X town spends this amount and they have two, three, five people doing it. Y town has, you know, what are the numbers that justify? Because that's what our duty is here is representatives of the people as to why we are spending what we're spending, Catherine. you know? In general terms, when I compare Tilton, um, there's a lot of different reasons I'm making compare Tilton for to see you know, how much our police department's costing, public works, et cetera, et cetera. This is just me. I have a list that I've compiled, and it's based on um, population doesn't work because there aren't very many communities of the 3,000 within our population range that have a $5 million plus budget or a full-time police department or, you know, but, but there's a lot of factors. So I have a list of communities that I've compiled that have very similar budgeting amount, gross budget of five million, 
your take. Um, Full-time police department. Um, it's not based on population. And then I look at the community. Does it have, like we do, in the Windsor, we're, you know, about 3,600 people. In the season, we can be up to 50 or 70,000 because of exit 20. So that's how yeah. I look at it. Well, I'm just saying in the... Me. You know, I obviously ways yeah. information out of there. Population yeah. doesn't matter. And, and I, that's what I think myself would like is just what the selectmen facts numbers they used in the public, non public section of where you got to the number that we got right. to. So we're looking for general data around that and I think you're absolutely right because yeah. as we're going through the budget process the more information we have the better we'll be able to justify those changes we're not challenging the decision of the select board what we're asking for is for information so we can make an informed guesstimate on the budget at this point in time right. of the next year and we're we not and we're not talking about personnel issues we're talking about the justification and cost of that position yeah. that's all one we're of, looking for one of the problems that we have in a small town is once you there's usually one person to one position so as soon as you talk about that position everybody knows who that person is that becomes a very gray area because then it does become a personnel decision because you have comp compromised the privacy of that individual by that position so we walk a fine line yeah I get that but also what you're saying is around because of the situation people can understand who that is and def did, uh, ultimately figure out who that is the people taking those positions know that the other issue is that we I also know it's a line item on our budget we also can go into non-public session to discuss this yeah. and I don't have a problem with that yeah. where this then opens up but then what the discussion we're having right now will not be taped for that discussion so that's the line I now walk I that mr. chairman but quite frankly I can't tell you any more in your non-public session than I can right here. In the Absolutely, right. right. And I wouldn't want I wouldn't want that information. By my my oath. Yeah. Also, folks, I sent you, thanks to the select board, the new right to know law. You really need to take a look at it because things have changed, and it's become more complicated, and there's more liability attached to it that we need to take a look at. So I would just suggest that happens. Further questions, comments from the board? John. Yes. Um, I think, is somewhere the uh, survey of wages that the state does available? I know we have yeah, it on it, disk. Is I was just going to ask if you want to take the lead on that because I, I have, I mean, I talked in generalities mm. tonight, but I recused myself from the situation because of the situation in that in that regard so I would prefer in detail to do that but is there a way we can make this available of the wage and salary she has a copy of the wage and salary but it's by disk and I believe that she can send it make a PDF of it certain, but if you just email it tomorrow I'm sure she'll be able to answer it Eric. I just have a question for Selectman Dawson. Dawson, is there a way, just, uh, you said you have a list of towns. If I look at that report, I'm not going to know the towns. Is there a way to ask you what towns you consider in your... Don't share it. <laughs> Secret well, no, recipe. Just, you know, just like when we look at that, we can look at... I use that list as a generality. They're so not the necessarily... KFC. All of them. Yeah. For this discussion. Okay. Specifically. But you're very welcome to my list. Okay. I'm, I'm in the process of updating it, which I do periodically because budgets change and please. Well, well I know change. from Pat's experience that that wage and salary doesn't comp take into effect a town like that has an exit 20. It only does, I think, based on population. So that's an unfair comparison because you could be comparing Tilton to, you know, uh, uh, you know. Well, for example, the United States Department of Justice suggests that 
the police department per capita should cost you $175 per capita. Right. Ours is $475. Right. So how do you find a community that yeah. compares to that? I mean, for 3,606 people, we have over 21 police personnel. You don't, you can't find that. In no. that same population. There's a piece so. of information that might be misleading there. Most of the taxes in this town are paid by exit 20. So the $400 figure, 43%, uh, 44% is paid by raising money from residents' taxes. The businesses pay the rest. So the $175 amount is not necessarily out of, I mean, we're not that far off that mark. If, if it's 175 per capita around the state, residents pay about, I, I can't do the math that quick, but about 175 or whatever. It's a shame we don't, our residents don't get to have a relief from this at 20. I, I think where we found the hottest decision was in um, town administrator and financing in the wage and salary because every town has either a bookkeeper or assistant bookkeeper. They don't have finance or they have a per diem finance. And it's very difficult to find that, what you're looking for until you start looking outside of the immediate area in, the, in that and look at the bigger towns that have it with the amount of money the budget is. John, you need to continue. Uh, okay. So I'm going to talk to Joyce about the survey of wages and see if it's available in a PDF. Wage and salary. Wage and salary. I know it's available in a PDF because I have a copy. Of it. I might oh. have a copy of it too. One that thing I can that send I think out. we mentioned on a meeting is we just have to find out if the duplication of copies of that is a cost to it. I think somebody had that question. It is, I believe. And I believe we can distribute it within okay. the, yeah. just a the board. Just licensing type of within thing. Within the board. Yeah. So. Okay. The you're bounded, you can't distribute that. Yeah. Now, yeah. job descriptions are public information. That's correct. And I think it might be helpful if the budget committee had job descriptions for those those areas, for instance, the deputy town clerk tax collector, the land use person, um, the sewer commissioner, administ admin person, because I'm not sure that everybody on the budget committee understands what's required of those positions and and I think that might that might be one of the issues is that you know there's not, not an understanding of what the job entails I, I believe we updated all those this year and they are available and we can we can uh, make that available we should not single out positions. We'll just give you all the jobs. Yeah, here. that's fine. Catherine, make up. Uh, that's fine. I'm, I was just pull, mentioned those three because they've gotten raises this year, and that's. Okay. The chair, we'll, we can ask Catherine to make that uh, one one book with all the job descriptions, and just let Joanna bring it to the meetings, and you've got it. Um. Is the committee uh, comfortable with that? You all okay. comfortable with that one? Good. John, anything further? That's it. I got a list to do, and I'm looking at it. I'm just going to go over it in case there's anything missed. Um, I'm going to get the, the survey of wages um, put together uh, so that that book's together and, and available to the budget committee. Um, so, information that was used for the increase, is that correct? The wage information. The wage information. What line, that item, you, what line, line item we took it from? Yeah, well, yeah, but we're going to supply the, with the information from what job descriptions we got that from. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You asked for where that information came well, from. They're just saying it, they did an average of, they tried to find an average of towns that are comparable. Like, uh, comparable. Which ones did you use? Why did you use those? You know? That was not the only decision, and we didn't, yeah, we didn't that's, say that's, that. We just. We didn't vote well, that. Right. Are, are we. That well, was a hypothetical thing. That well, Stan was asked, asked which and why we used each town in that decision. Are we going to supply that? Uh, we didn't say specifically that we used in right. comparison of any town. Yes, as a matter of fact, you did. That was the analogy. Report, but we didn't say 
I mean, it was, actually, it was assumptive. You told us that we used it. I don't know. This, this is this is the kind of thing that the the reason in in what he's doing. If we do that, we get into specific non-public information yeah. that we give you. It's it's suffice to say that we'll supply you with the wage and and um, salary book that was a tiny portion of. We, so we can't you know, supply the budget committee with how we arrived at the number. That's not the only thing. We meeting. can't do it. You, you can't. You cannot say that that's the only thing that was on the board that made the decision for a wage adjustment. It's not. There's tons of other things that they use. We need to have a select meeting, have a conversation about tonight, and then get advice on what exactly we can do. And whatever we can release to you. Well, what what you're you. releasing to the public, because they're going to, that's, right. you know, the one or two people exactly. in town who actually resell stuff. But Before we get too far involved, can I, can I make yeah, one but you know what I'm saying? That, this isn't, you know, this just isn't the first time that somebody's okay. been away. Just, Folks. Oh, I mean, it, but it, it's a pretty substantial increase. John, go ahead. 30%. Can we gather up what information that's needed and we will not have it for next week because the selectmen next meet on the 16th. 16th. So the Wednesday following the 16th, we will um, come up with what information. It's the 22nd. We'll come up with the information that's available and that we can to some make to the any information that's legally available to you, I, I insist yeah, that you get sure. it. Yeah, I mean, and we'll check with yeah. LGC and talk with one of the lawyers down there and find out where we can go with this and give you everything we sure. can. Sure. Okay, is the committee comfortable with that? Hmm? We will postpone the rest of this discussion for two weeks. And then John will report back. With that the information, that with that information, and that'll give us a week to. Okay. And but in the meantime, I'll I'll get that PDF for the discs or whatever the information, so you, everybody can. Okay, you let John. You have a lead for that. Mm -hmm. You have a lead. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that. Further discussion at this point in time, Catherine. We finally get to talk. I can't, but you can. Come on up. Catherine actually asked. Wait, you other business? We're getting there. I am other We're getting there. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Catherine has actually been on hold for a month oh, and a yes. half. So it's time that she gets over the other business at this point in time. Catherine. Oh, I've never sat on this side of the table at the committee. Doesn't that feel comfortable? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, we used to put you down here. I know. <laughs> So I've made this pitch to the Budget Committee in past years, but I don't think I've made it to this Budget Committee. So here I am, once again, making my pitch. The selectmen prepare a default budget so that if you miss dates, the Budget Committee miss dates or something happens, that becomes the voting on budget. That's why the select selectmen prepare a budget. So I've always thought that the Budget Committee should prepare their budget independent of the selectmen's budget. Year after year, the selectmen come in, give their budget to the budget committee, and the budget committee makes their budget off of our budget. There's a lot of ways that that could be done. Just suggestions, purely suggestions. Um, you could set a percent increase, like you don't want to see it increase more than zero percent, except for the wage lines because we have a union. <laughs> you could go back 10 years and take an average of the budget and come up with amounts. But I just think that the budget committee should prepare their budget completely independent of the selectmen. And then when the selectmen come in with their budget, line items would be different, theoretically. And it would be up to the board of selectmen to make their pitch on why this line item is, we'd like it to be more than what the budget committee says. Oh, nobody got excited. I usually, like I'm, yeah. usually I'm tarred like and feathered and out of the room by now. <laughs> well, they're tarred, all the tars up the road. <laughs> <laughs> all the tars up the road. So. Go ahead, John. One of the things uh, um, that always concerns me is that a budget is made from 
what we spent the previous year or what we budgeted the previous year plus a little more because things go up. My thoughts, everything should start at zero. Determine what is needed, and the Budget Committee should do this, what is needed along with the budget department, um, the uh, department heads, and arrive at a figure. Interesting. And because what you, it seems that sometimes they get compounded, where one year a department head may need a uh, new desk and new pencil sharpeners and copy, or, well that's a different department, but all these new items. And we forget that we added those on that year. And then the next year we come in, we forgot to take out that we don't need any new desks again. But we keep it at that or we add a little more to it. So they just keep growing. And what happens is we end up with all this money that we can use and shift around for other things that, well, we got it in the budget, so let's spend it. And, and I think it's very important to get back to zero, tally up what we really need, what really needs to be spent, and plus a safety if you want to look at something really interesting, get out some town reports. You don't have to go back too far. When I first became a selectman, I believe it was in 2000, maybe 19, yeah, 2000. It was one page. So the administration line was one line. I don't even know if public works was separated out, but it was one page. You've got our budget now. When you talk about transparency, that didn't take place until well, I think like 2007, 2008. It hasn't been that long. But it's we've got this. Worked on, right? Yeah, and we increase it all the time. We'll say, well, it's like the IT. We separated that out so the taxpayers could see, you know, how that's being spent. And for those that are into the law, Catherine has an RSA <laughs> in front of us oh, yeah. that actually determines what the budget process can be. I assume you've all read chapter 32. No. <laughs> That's why, that, that was why I gave you the segue. I, yeah, I think we got the book on budgeting, municipal budgeting that... We all went to the synopsis. Even system. though you have the book on budgeting, it doesn't have the entire law in it. I would recommend you all read chapter 32 because it's... It really tells you, you, you... The budget committee has a lot of authority and a lot of responsibility. And that is on the computer. Yes, it is. Under our wonderful RSAs. Please take a look at it. Any initial questions? I would suggest that we put this also on next week's agenda so we can have further discussion. If so warranted, Catherine, you're welcome to join. I just have one comment. Yep, go ahead. Question. It's my understanding that the budget is the budget committee's budget mm -hmm. and that and I've always gotten the impression sitting in with the selectmen that somehow or other it's the selectmen's budget but it's not I just no it is once that budget has been voted and approved at town meeting it is the selectmen's Once budget at, at town meeting, but prior to that, that's right. It's budget committees. It's the budget committee's budget. Mm -hmm. Well, the budget that's going to be voted on in town meeting is, is. the budget that's committee's correct. budget. Correct. So that's why I don't understand why department heads present their budgets to the selectmen as opposed to presenting them to the budget committee. Well, the budget committee has every every authority. It's right in the RSA. It's a matter of fact, I don't know if I've got that one highlighted. To request from that the they department. can request um, from the department heads. But that's not how it's been done. That's the that, mm. that's the only reason I made the comment. The way we have done things in the past, or since I've been on the budget committee, is not necessarily the way right. I think it should be done. Does Good. That, does that well, make it? The yeah, they but come, but they don't. Well, they don't submit their budgets no, to, to us. us. They're not no, they starting don't. at zero. They don't. What I like about the idea of starting at zero and them submitting their budget to us is it doesn't punish them for saving money this year. If you say to yourself, I have a budget of X and I could save 5%, 10% this year, and then you go off last year's line item and say, oh, 
well, you were 10 percent down. Let's get to that lower number again next year. You know, justify why you saved and the good job you did saving that 10 percent and 15 percent or whatever it is, because uh, you know when you're going through the financials and why are we at you know 102 percent? Why are we at 105 percent? Well, this guy, this department only spent. 73% last year, let's cut them down to that number again. It punishes them for saving money. So here's chapter 32, colon 16, duties and authority of the budget committee. Um, this is Roman numeral two, paragraph two, to confer with the governing body or bodies and, we, and with other officers, department heads, and other officials relative to estimated cost, revenues anticipated, and services performed to the extent deemed necessary by the budget committee. It shall be the duty of all such officers and other persons to furnish such pertinent information to the budget committee. So when you're preparing your budget that's going to be approved at town meeting, you can have anyone you want that has meat in that budget come before you, independent of the selectmen. Um, I'm not making this as a motion. I'm just just discuss it. I would suggest that the budget committee draft a letter, send it out to all department heads, what we would like to see them do on their budget, whether it be start at zero and total up all of what they really need. And we will look at it fairly and we'll question them on it and that's what we will decide on and award them that budget. And that we request that they do not just look at last year's budget. If they start at zero. I don't have a problem with that. I would suggest we think about it for the week, bring it up at next meeting mm -hmm. as a discussion item, and make some decisions at that point in time. And maybe everybody can think of how we would word that or draft it or right. if that's some route we'd like to go. Comfortability. Eric? Yeah. What? I just am amazed at the John. reception. Usually I'm like, well. John? Yes, I, I okay. agree wholeheartedly. I mean, what? the town of, I forget if it was Claremont or West Lab or some town up there was actually trying to go to the mayor system. Yep. Because a mayor's accountable to these things and these kind of decisions and cost overruns, whereas a selectman, it's spread out, the responsibility is spread out. So let's make a commitment to look at RSA 32, to think about what we want to do. We'll bring it up next week. As a discussion, I, Catherine, thank you for your patience. You are welcome. Thank you, guys. Okay. As yeah, John, work. <laughs> John, a lot of it. Other business. Too. Other business. I, I, um, <coughs> we um, mentioned before we met that I, I apologize. I haven't been here. Pat's been great to fill in for me, but I've been doing other very important work on the formula committee, and they will be having a public hearing on that. There was a recommendation made, and basically it's to stay the same. A lot of thought. There was a lot of charts, graphs, um, uh, what ifs that were done, and the uh, it came up with um, some great recommendations. And that's why I wasn't here, and I'm back now. So I'll be Thank sitting you. here as long as anybody no flus or anything. I'll be here. I've heard some good stuff that the town of Tilton was well represented. John, I thank you, and Scott. Davis and, and Mike Mike Mike, Mike, Mike Agden. Yep. We're doing a good job. Information. Two items. Genesis. Board of Directors is actually having an annual meeting. It's Tuesday, October twenty eighth, at the Pippin Freight Room. You're welcome to attend. If you'd like so, that'll be here. Joanna, are we gonna be all set here. to have some people coming in next week? Who who would you like to schedule to come in? Okay, so that's the last piece. We have two choices. We can actually start the process of having outside agency coming in. Or as John has pointed out, there are certain groups that we will have, don't need to come in that we can take a look at. One is the kennel. One is the cemetery. cemetery. Old home day. So the choice to the committee is, do we want to do them? Or do we want Joanne, uh, excuse me, Joanna, to invite three guests to come join us? 
I would suggest that when you decide to set the schedule, you set the entire schedule so that I'm not calling every week to try to get people to come in. And then you're only giving a weekly notice. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a copy of last year's? I can find one up. Yep. I yeah. thought that's what we decided, that that's she was going to follow the schedule we followed last year. Yeah. And just shift the dates according to the meetings. So let's use last year's schedule. Okay. And put, and just update it. And then we'll tweak as we need. All right. Committee. And we'll have to um, decide on which days we aren't going to meet because of Thanksgiving or... Let's do that next week. that next week. Committee, any other business? Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. This is non-debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Have a great evening. Oh, Good work, gentlemen. And ladies. We have to do the budget. Do we get this?